Hey, it's Tiwi here. I'm in the shed. Um, I'm just finishing this build here on this crew bike and it got me thinking about air filters. So we run funnel wave air filters and we've documented that before. We did the testing for them at the start and uh, etc. So there's a, a new pre-filter straight in the top of the lid. We also run the um, pre-filter in the snorkel as in this one here and obviously a funnel web main filter but I, I guess while I was doing this the importance of the air filter came in the thing and I grabbed a pre-filter one of the dirty ones an old one it's in the tub over there and just cut it open you can see how effective it is it's got to go through the finer material then in the coarser material and then down the engine and obviously we put a bit of grease around in the seat and <clears throat> on another Facebook page I follow I hear a lot of people talking about valves and camshafts and so we're now half a million kilometers into this model uh, since 2019 November 2019 we got our first one we've got a couple of bikes that have done 60,000 that one over there and the Corey bike that's over the shed and they've never had to have a valve adjusted so obviously quality valves quality material quality engine components but then also the the valves are only as good as the air that go across the seat so if you've got contaminated air going across your valve seat then that's what when you get a little bit in there the valve closes and that little bit of dust in there acts like a valve grinding paste and that's how your valves wear so once your valves wear you then run out of valve clearance which brings me to this conversation i hear sometimes about camshafts and i hear blokes say oh well hang on a second how if it's done now, how's the dirt got into the camshaft and the cam lobe and the dirt because that's engine oil not air and that that's a, that's a fair question so let me give you the theory behind this so we've just said that when you run out of when your valve gets dirt or dust on the seat and the valve closes it causes it to wear and become like a grinding paste and that wears your valve seat as your valve seat you run out of valve seat or valve face wears you then run out of clearance and this clearance is for example um might be adjustable at this end of of this pretty primitive looking rocker shaft up here but your valve is the clearance between your roller or your sliding tappet to the bottom of your cam lobe and that's when you have your clearance okay so we're all happy with that there might be seven thou two thou ten thou fourteen thou whatever it is then as your cam lobe here rotates around you get to the top of your cam lobe. Sorry about my drawing board, it's pretty sketchy. And at this stage, you have full force of your valve spring, etc., and full force of your cam follower or your sliding tappet on your cam lobe. And this will be the bit, this will be the bit that wears because it's under the most pressure in here, right? This is where the, you're going up the ramp here and the most amount of force is on there. Now, the other part of this is when your camshaft is rotating, yeah, what a great race that was. As your camshaft is rotating, you get this clearance in here. It's an opportunity for oil to get in here. And that oil will come around here and lubricate us as we travel around here, okay? So if you have no clearance because your valve seat is worn and this clearance in here is gone, then you have no opportunity to get oil in there. So your follower will run hard against your cam all the way around and up here when it's under its most amount of force is when your cam follower or your camshaft will wear and start to fail. Now, what wears first? Is it the camshaft or the cam follower? Well, it's pretty hard to tell. No one can really tell because there's two components wearing against one another. But this, 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 this clearance is critical for oil to get in there or be allowed to be in there. If you never, ever get that follower off there then as the cam follower comes around it will push the oil out in this in this case we've got an opportunity to get a bit of oil in that area as we go around it's a theory you can argue it but i uh i have worked for a major diesel engine company for uh two major diesel engine companies and i was a senior technical trainer for one of them for 15 years for the south pacific so i got a little bit of knowledge behind it one other thing when you're doing Tenere's, by the way, and you wash the bike because of this gap in here, it's always a good idea to uh, undo the four screws. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
and pop your air filter out just make sure it's dry because you can get water in here which can then leak in under lid just check it air filters camshafts air filters and camshafts that's the theory we've never ever done a camshaft cam follower or adjusted a valve in a t700 and like i said some of them have done some miles and if you know me and you've seen me ride i don't mind banging them on the rev limit every now and again for a bit of shits and giggles so Final web filters, can't go past them.